All right, joined with me is Philosopher on, we just found out that this is the rewards for uh, the stock, what, this, what are they, I can't even remember what the event was called anymore. It's the, the stock stockpile issue. They won't even call it exploit. They, they call it an issue, that's telling too, right? That, so, yeah. all right, so this is what happened. There was an event, which was a garbage event in the first place because it forced everybody in your alliance to clue together to spenders, right? And if you didn't spend anything, you got no rewards. In fact, that was part of the problem with the event in the first place is that, like, I think two thirds of the people in that play the game got zero rewards. Yeah, I mean, you know about that, right? Like, most people oh, didn't get, did most people got no rewards. If you didn't spend money, you didn't get any rewards. So this is a problem that largely only affected people that spent. And then I know this was an issue with like your alliance and some other alliances. We found out midweek that there was an exploiting and the exploiting was is that people were able to get double rewards. And you and, and I'm just gonna say certain alliances took a stand and said, we're not gonna exploit. And then, and then you got the, and basically people exploited and they got the 1% rewards and the people that played the game correctly got the two to 5% rewards, which was what? Uh, forty percent less rewards. I mean, it was two hundred thousand fragments versus one hundred twenty thousand fragments. I mean, this is garbage, right? And then they give the re then they they give a they give a. Ca I'm I'm ranting right here. Go ahead, I'll let you talk. No, it's a fine. I mean, yeah, I, I, have I, the same, I have the same reaction. It's total BS, is what it is. I mean, I knew about these exploits, and my I, I my response to it was as soon as I found out about them to make a post to my entire alliance and say no one should be doing this if anybody is even testing these things out if you see something on a forum stay away from it we are all everyone in my i'm in pants of hulk right. super spender alliance everyone knows that i spend money on the game if you watch any of my videos i'm like they're, we're gonna get the top rewards anyways guys don't ever no one even test this out just to see if it works and what happens? We don't. We're not even in the top one percent. Does, can does anyone really believe that me and my alliance were not in the top one percent of spenders? Like, there's a lot of cheat. I mean, it just tells you there's a lot of cheating going on. That's yeah. what it tells me. And we get screwed because they give the rewards not just to people like us who are following uh, the rules here and playing the right way, but the people who cheated get the same stuff. So basically the message is, you know, keep on cheating, right? Right, and, and the word on the street is that this, this exploit, they won't even call it an exploit, they call it an issue because they won't even confirm that that's an exploit. That, that this was reported and I, I heard that, th that, that it was actually fixed and then a new patch came out and it undid the fix. Like they actually went into the game and fixed this double double counting thing at one point in the game. And then it got unwound by an update. And then it's it, it, and then we're telling them that it's broken. Uh, they should have yanked the event. Yeah, or or they should have been, if they weren't going to yank the event, they should have gone through everybody north towards the top of the leaderboards and determine who was using this exploit or not like they did with Avenger Tower, right? I mean, with Avengers Tower, there were some people who obviously were cheating to get their names up on the on the top of the leaderboard and they investigated and took those people off. So that's what I assume they were doing. I mean, what, what blows my mind, man, is we brought this to the devs' attention. A lot of envoys, you know, put yeah, a lot of work in doing screenshots. I know you did. Yeah. And I and I was one of the people saying go after the people who cheated. We didn't get it. In my opinion, we didn't get an adequate response from them. They 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 said they're looking into it, and what I assume that meant is they were going to take care of the issue. And basically, what they're telling us is no, we're not doing this. And now they're doubling down on uh, leaderboards as their method of introducing characters in the future. I mean, that's what bothers me the most. Yeah. Uh, because they're they're doubling down on leaderboards, which every time they have a leaderboard in this game, it's always, you know, exploited yes. in some fashion. Yeah. I mean, if you just look at the Dark Dimension leaderboards, there's always somebody, you know, the timed runs, there's somebody there that's done something wrong. I mean, people, that you, Avengers Tower, people with like no collection power at the top of the leader pads. I mean, people, I mean, obviously there's problems with this. Oh my God. And then this is, so this is worse is because basically, uh, I mean, I think there's a large, large percentage of the community that didn't really participate in the event. They just boycotted the event or didn't get it. And so this is bonus stuff to them for cheaters, exploiters. This is bonus stuff for them. The people that get hurt on this are the people that spent money, did the event correctly, chose not to do the exploit and got knocked down. And so one of the things when I first hold, heard about this, I was talking to Dorky Dad 
and I said, uh, they need to bump up everybody a tier. Like if you placed in two to 5%, you need to get the 1% rewards. Everybody needs to get mm -hmm. bumped up an entire tier all the way, all the way down because people were, were dropped into lower tiers because of exploiters, right? At a minimum, mm -hmm. that's like a sane, sane, sane uh, fix to this, right? I agree with that because that that would the only people who wouldn't hurt are the people who exploited their way to the top, and, and they, you have but, to assume that they that they're going to get the top. They already got one percent. Yeah, right? and how you do you track? I don't even because technically this is something that, that could have happened accidentally, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, how, uh, and they have to take the time to track the people, and then I mean, they didn't even take action against the the people that double the double spending Silver Surfer thing. I mean, they didn't bother with that. And then when they did ban people, remember the time they they did ban people, like they banned. 10% of the people they banned were falsely banned. I mean, they they have no good track record on this stuff at all. Yeah, I got to tell you, the, the time where I came the closest to quitting the game was when that exploit was out with that, was that Captain Ireland and there's oh, yeah, another kind of content creator where they're like, getting characters like we all the, everybody in the game had a two-star silver surfer but this guy had like a seven-star silver surfer and w i will tell you it, it concerned me at the time because i had s spent quite a bit of time and money racing dd4 and i'm like are you telling me that maybe the guy ahead of me just exploited offers and that's why he finished ahead of me it just bothered me because it, it was just like no there wasn't an even playing field and I, I kind of feel here, I mean, are they really expecting people to spend a bu bucket, you know, bucket loads of money and, uh, to get some super exclusive apocalypse, you know, m super expensive character? Yeah, the horseman. On a leaderboard? Yeah. yeah, on a leaderboard system where some guy is just going to hack it and then they're going to shrug. I mean, it might as well just figure out what the hack is or the exploit and use that. It's a lot cheaper and they're not going to do anything about it. So th this is a question that I've thought about. Do you think this problem will fix itself? Because this you know this affects spenders why would i spend any money on the game if i can cheat and if the cheaters are going to get it right this is going to negatively impact the spenders the most and their buying decisions correct do you think that they're going to have to react to this or do you think they're just going to do nothing uh, i tell you man i think they're going to do nothing and, and i'm going to say why i think that i have i i would think that i would have as much leverage as anybody in the game to try to get something to happen here. I'm a big spender. I'm a captain in a big spender alliance. I'm a big content creator in the game. And I have raised issues to them multiple times. And they do listen to me. I don't think they always listen to everybody in the I, game to I, be I, very I, blunt. I feel that But way they don't too. do anything. They don't do anything about it. I mean, you and I, I the reason I, the reason we're making this video right now is I reached out to you and I'm like, we need to talk. Yeah. And frankly, what I wanted to talk to you about is like, let's both say something to them because this is ridiculous. But I don't I, they, I don't think they're going to do anything. And I, I feel a little powerless uh, to do anything to help the community. On well, it. I've said this before. I feel like that the people that we communicate with, which are, we can say their names, Lori and Cerebro, right? We communicate with yeah. Lori. I feel that they listen to us. I don't know if anybody's listening to them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and there, there's another dev that I talk to sometimes, but I, I've made a lot of my concerns felt. And then when that Bender guy, Jason Bender was around, I told him about a lot of the concerns I had with the game and he claimed he was going to do something about it and nothing's changed. I told him... Six months ago, th that the time and the amount of time we spent in the game is too high. They needed to do something about it, that they were tightly controlling certain resources in the game too much. He said he was going to take care of it. I haven't heard anything. And nothing's changed. I mean, they just keep adding more game modes, adding more expense, and not taking care of problems in the game. I asked them when that that uh, that exploit happened with the spending, I uh, told them to, t to look into it. And I said I was personally bothered by it. They never did. Or they never got back to me on it. I mean, I I'm just very frustrated. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I So I said this in a, a video yesterday, you know, and I know you made a video talking about Reminix, your video earlier today, and then I made a video yesterday. And basically my video yesterday, I outlined a Reddit post that 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 it, that explained all the known exploits. It didn't explain how to do them. And then I said in my video is that I'm not in a position to publish exploits because I don't know if you knew this or not, but Netmarble came after me like five years ago for publishing a glitch video. Oh Jesus! Yeah. So like I, I I'm not in a position to publish hacks and cheats and exploits. I'm just not. It's not worth it, right? Because it's like clearly yeah. against the terms of service. They can take down YouTube videos on, I mean, that's what developers take down YouTube videos for. That's the only time mm -hmm. I've seen a developer. And that happened to me once. And I and I was able to resolve it with Netmarble, but it was a big hassle because 
you know, you get free takedown notices on your channel. They delete your channel, right? So this is a big deal. But so what I said yesterday in my video is like, please, if you if you have this information, publish it. Make it, you know, publish it so everybody knows because they're not going to do anything unless everybody knows about it, right? I mean, that's how I feel at this point. I, I yeah, I don't know what to, I don't know what we could do about it. People keep saying in my channel, they're like, do something about it, and I, I'm not. I, I'm a realist enough to to say that I don't have control. You know, people are like everyone should stop spending. I'm not powerful enough to get uh, important enough to get out people. Uh, you know, control all the spenders in the game and tell them what to do. Like, people are going to spend money and do whatever they're going to do. I, I do think that if it becomes more widespread and if people just decide, okay, we're going to exploit then Scopely's going to have to do something about this or they're not going to have a game. I mean, I will tell you for this Apocalypse release, if that turns out to be a fest where everyone's just exploiting their way to the top, uh, they're not going to have a game anymore because people who poured every resources they had into having the biggest web warriors or dark hunters right. and got ex exploited out of a, a spot, they're just going to they're going to quit because what's the point? Like at this point, there's no point in spending money on the game. Yeah, hack hacking and cheating exploits will destroy a game. I saw this happen in a game I used to play, WWE Immortals. Basically, uh, they didn't have the client server side situation, which largely prevents a lot of these things from happening, where uh, most of the stuff is stored on their server as far as like rosters and things like that. And because there's no there's no reason to spend money on the game because you could hack the game for free and the game ended because they couldn't stop it. It literally destroyed the game. The game was over because of it. And, and, and this, this is how, so that's why I asked the question, do you think this is going to fix himself? Do you think this will get their attention? I mean, it has to a little bit. They have to know this is like a catastrophic problem. I, I would like to think so, but I have to say, I really feel like we're, we get managed, right? You know, like when you're on an airplane and the airplane's delayed and they say a bunch of BS to make you feel like uh, you shouldn't try to demand a refund. You should stay on the plane, whatever it is they're trying to get you to. I feel like that's what we're, we're being managed, right? And so I think they're going to say whatever they're going to say, and then they're going to introduce some new thing or try to distract us in some fashion. I have to say, I'm not really distracted. I thought the apocalypse thing was bad for players. I think the I actually think the web store is bad for players. I'll do a video on that tomorrow. I'm just like not happy with the direction that they're taking the game. And I don't really know what to do about it. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm just going to keep talking about it. This is probably my uh, fifth. Or, uh, as far as the leaderboard issue, I think this is the fourth video I've made about it. You know, I'm heated when I made four videos about it since Friday. Yeah, this is my fourth video about this topic. Like it's a big problem. And I know you made a video and you even said you don't like, you don't, you said you didn't even like making the video. I, I mean, I heard cause it's, it's not like it's, it's a, it's a, it feels like we're just complaining, but this is like a big problem. This is a big problem. It takes a lot for me to make a video. It takes a lot for me to make a complaint. And I do a per I do that purposely because if you complain about everything, there's some Man, people complain about everything. I'm, I'm in that category. I, 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 okay, so, well, then <laughs> they, they don't listen to you. I know. And so I, as you know, you've seen me privately and in public, I only complain when I think it's really important. And when I do, I try to be very forceful about it. And at times I get results, but it, uh, you know, it, you know, I, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to realize that it's just not, it's just not happening with these guys. I hope this gets their attention. Um, this, 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 uh, this is why it's so frustrating is because I feel like the writings on the wall and, and then this, this compensation, this, this uh, calendar is so tone deaf and detached from the, the issues like so far disconnected from the problem like it's you know what i mean yeah. like it's like they really missed the mark on this uh, i it, it uh, it's it's makes yeah, me it's, I'm a, it's really horrible it's anyway. beyond that i mean to me it has a, a, a an unsaid message in it which is we aren't going to fix the problem we're not going to take any action against people who do this that's the message it sends to me and so if that's where they're at and that's what the case is, then why don't they just be upfront and say that to everybody? And that's what, what bothers me the most. It's disingenuous. They're going to claim that they don't want you to do it. They'll keep some language, some paragraph in the terms of service they could technically enforce. But if they're not going to actually do it, they're only hurting the people. What it means is that the people who get hurt are the ones who try to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. So, And, and, and this is specifically is hitting the, the spenders more than anything else, which matters. And I, and I think that's a big, big problem because it, 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 they're, they're enraging the, the spenders that are playing the game correctly.
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, it, yeah. that's that's who it hits them hits the hardest is the people that are spending that are playing the game uh, the way that the game was intended, right? You know, that's what yeah. we're talking about. Uh, I mean, I and I, I just want to be very clear on this. And I think I said this the other day. I, I I know you're. I think you are more upset with the people that are breaking the rules. I I, I am to a certain degree, but at the end of the day, it's, it's Scopely is responsible to fix uh, to fix this. I, I feel like it's not helpful if you know alliances start pointing fingers at each other and calling people cheaters and things like that. It's Scopely's fault. They could have they if they they ultimately had the power to fix this problem and to stop this from happening. You know what I mean? And I just believe that there's a certain percentage of players that are going to do these type of things. And that's just the way it is, especially when it's something that could happen through normal gameplay or even accidentally. It's not like they downloaded a hack into their phone or employed a bot and software. You know what I mean? It's very different. Yeah. People, well, people respond to incentives. I mean, I remember I used to play World of Warcraft back in the day. There's all this gold selling, right? They took care of that problem. They took care of all sorts of, you know, they took care of various problems in that game by just taking very swift action. Once they ban certain people, take action against certain accounts, introduce their own systems to deal with it, that resolves the issue. I mean, if they come out and say publicly, we are going to look at every account that gets the horsemen or whatever or ventures tower or whatever they're going to do and we will ban any account that is found to be exploiting that will solve the problem yeah but the, until they do that nothing is going to change okay well um i don't know i hope somebody that understands the issue at scopely is is watching or take notice i i feel like there's got to be somebody over there that understands why this is super bad i mean it's 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 crystal clear to me so uh, that's all. That's all I got. I have nothing else to say. Yeah. I'm spent on this. I got this. nothing else. I'm gonna yeah. say everything I, I I want to to scope a little later tonight. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty pissed. All right, all right man. That's the end of the video. Goodbye.